today we are going to learn disintegration basically particle dissolve or uh, let's say surface dissolve so for that particular uh, effect you required uh, certain sets of uh, image sequences like uh, some maps okay for that i have already generated that particular map so if you just go to this particular channel so you will find over here this particular stuff okay you just need to download and you have to apply okay see these two stuff so i'm going to share the link of this particular stuff with you so you just need to download and you have to use it for your project so i'm recording the session also so you're going to find the link over uh, here also but i'm going to paste it on your uh, this chat box so i'm going to use this particular stuff and um, if you want um, for a better output you can convert that stuff into jpeg i've converted that file into jpeg using um, adobe media encoder so you can just go to adobe media encoder or you can open premiere pro and you can just convert this stuff into jpeg sequence just make sure you should not use any dot and uh, underscore it has to be like just simple just plain name okay this file and this file so this thing you can do so how it works and what is exactly disintegration something is dissolving and something is destroying in that case we can use that if you want to evaporate something like you no know, it's, it's just uh, vanishing you have seen like uh, this uh, movie last part this particle dissolve avengers end game last part that all the, all the army men sol soldiers and all all the entire city got dissolved like like that you know so so we are going to use that particular um, thing on this particular um, example so okay so let's begin so to start with this stuff i'm going to show you on um, let's say on uh, regular spio okay then we can uh, shift to or uh, i think we can start with spio you can if you, if you just uh, increase the radius a bit okay and um so i'm going to use this disintegration effect on um, this particular spio okay to dissolve the particular uh, geometry or uh, surface you can use basically you can use transparency if you go to just favorite material and uh, if you just uh, apply a default lambert to it and um, so you can use transparency but we don't want to disappear like this you know we want very systematically disappearing for that particular uh, thing you can uh, use that map so you can use this particular map this one this is for your dissolving the geometry shape okay so let's try on this particular surface so i'm just going to copy the path from here and um, i'm going to apply over here inside transparency and if i just go to file and um, just click and inside uh, image name if i just uh, go here and uh, just search for that particular path i have already copied that part 
and just choose your first file and say open okay and now mm, if you want to see the result continue result you have to click on this particular thing image sequence and if you just play and check it's working and you have to press 5 6 to see whether it's exactly working yes see it's properly dissolving yes so <clears throat> like that you can apply on any surface this effect and this will going to work for you suppose if you have um, cylinder and um, if I just go here and um, apply this effect on um, the regular cylinder so if I have a little just the radius and I'm just going to increase the height a bit okay and um, subdivision height also a bit and now if we just uh, assign the same material favorite material and uh, existing material number two so we can see what exactly happening over here so it is just trying to use it like that so simple just uh, apply on any geometry this is going to work for you so let's say suppose we have any uh, character okay so if, if you just try on uh, our character so if you go to in our modeling section if you just go to generate and um, inside here if you just go to get brush so you have uh, plenty of uh, library of uh, many assets you have uh, modeling section you have uh, sculpting base mash you have people you have lots of uh, stuff over here you have many base meshes that you can use so you can use uh, any base mesh if you like and um, let's see what we can use now we have pipettes okay so if i just uh, use this particular in stuff human body and just right click and just you can import it so <clears throat> i've just uh, imported this particular character and um, if you just decrease the size to 0.1 and um, if you just apply the same material over here inside this particular surface same material assign existing material the lambert to whatever we have assigned okay and um, If you just uh, closely look this to this particular surface, uh, it is dissolving. Simple. Okay. To work properly with this particular uh, surface, just make sure when uh, just uh, go to UV editor and uh, your UV should be like from this UV should follow from top to bottom so that then it's going to work properly so I can, <coughs> for this particular example I can if you just uh, I'm just going to change the UV information I'm going to take a regular uh, planner and um, I'm going to project it from uh, Z axis project okay and uh, I'm just going to check the UV okay then you can uh, just uh, cut it from here and you can just uh, take it out I'm not I'm not going in detail but if you just see now this particular surface if you just uh, 
scrub the timeline and just just say you know it's forming properly okay so it's forming properly just as other surfaces so if you just uh, change the uv so you can see you know how it reacts basically the surface and um, suppose if i just uh, change the uv direction if i just change the uv direction i just select the uv and uh, if i just uh, change the direction of the uv and then if you just see how it's behaving see got it so this totally depends on your uv information how you want if you want from little side angle so you can just change the uv position just uh, you can if you want you can just uh, rotate and if you just see now so you can see it's like from 45 angle okay for fx purpose you can uh, change the uv and uh, you can uh, your original mesh and uv's can be different and your uh, for dissolving your surface your mesh can be different okay and uh, i'm going to delete this po and the cylinder and i'm going to go with this particular uh, object okay and i'm going to snap it to this particular surface over here over on this particular uh, grid okay <coughs> okay so what is the shortcut uh, for snapping the object onto the grid you can uh, write down on your uh, comment section you can write down on your uh, comment section very good x okay so you can see you know it is just uh, forming and uh, we want exactly opposite of this because we want it to not to form but to dissolve so what to do so i have used this particular map over here this map i have used okay so if you just uh, see this i have used this particular map okay so now what if i just go to just press control a if i just search for my lambert 2 so here i have assigned that so this particular stuff and if you just go here just go to bottom and uh, if i just search for effect and just invert that thing invert and now if you just play and check you know if you just scroll into timeline and check you know, it is dissolving wow okay simple and now what i want when it is uh, dissolving I want little uh, deformation when it is dissolving surface should little deform okay so all that information of um, texture and file we have uh, inside our uh, hypershade if you just go to hypershade from here you can just click and you can activate your hypershade and uh, i have assigned lambert 2 and the texture i have assigned is this file 1 okay so same file we can use again and again so just remember we have used this file 1 and um, if you just uh, go to deform section and uh, if you just apply let's say texture and just go to the option box and everything has to be we have to use uv and strength 1 and all of this one just create okay 
and uh, inside here texture you have to use that particular file so you can what you can do is you can just uh, use your uh, middle mouse button and you can just use middle mouse button and you have to drag it over here so like this just drag it over here inside here so i don't have to generate again and again extra texture so it's going to deform when it is uh, forming sees deforming the surface also so how much to deform and all that you can see you know, how much you want to deform the strength if you want to offset a bit okay switch off the invert you can see now so it is deforming like this you know surface is also like changing you can feel it you can feel that stretch right so this is first step basically you have to dissolve your uh, geometry first now we want to add a particle on the surface that is the secondary thing but first thing you can use this and this particular uh, file if i just generate once now so i can use on uh, any surface I've, as i'll show you on uh, as i've shown you like you know i've generated on uh, spear cylinder or if you have any other model so just uh, replace that particular shader with that so you have to create once and you can use it for uh, like lifetime like that okay so just sit, uh, try to generate this thing and um, whatever extra deformation you want the strength and all that you can just uh, try that you, know. you want to offset a bit so you can just feel that stretch okay plus uh, if you want to generate an additional uh, bump map so you can just try that also just to give a little depth here on bump map i'm going to use same map just uh, drag and drop on the bump map just to give a little depth okay see how it looks like see okay so i'm just going to decrease this strength to 0.2 i don't want that much 0.1 just little bit you know, 0.2 i think it's fine something like this you know when it's dissolving it should we, we should feel like you know it's really dissolving so this is how we can do simple Okay, fine. <clears throat> this is all about your geometry, and uh, next step, you have to use your uh, particle system. So I'm going to save this particular file inside um, G Drive FX session. So today we have uh, 23, 23, 10. 2020 okay. particle dissolve or uh, 3D, dis 3D dissolve or 3D disintegration integration 3D disintegration something like this okay so now what I'm going to use uh, same so whatever uh, last to last session we have started with basic particle system and uh, so <coughs> basic particle system and uh, all that stuff i'm going to apply on this particular uh, surface okay so let's see how we can use it so just go to fx and uh, search for this n particles and if you just search for Emit form object from here, or you can use it from here also. Which is emit form object, and um, 
what we want is surface scalar by object size is fine for me so before uh, going ahead just uh, decrease it to lesser value then we can gradually increase speed reduce it 0.1 and um, we don't want particle to spread so much no? for this particular example at least for this particular thing right now later on we can increase it so just go to the default value or you can um, just reset the setting and use surface and uh, check this option on and just take this value to 10 and the speed is fine now now it's so one i think it's fine for me now to say create so wh what is going to happen now if i just uh, play and check it's going to generate particles from the entire surface right so if you just check the playback speed it has to be play every frame max real time and if you just play now so you can see is generating the particle but from the entire body but what we want is to generate it where we exactly want you know from at, at that particular point only for that i have generated that uh, second part for that example you have to use this one this particular example for generating the particle you have to use this okay so i have already downloaded that stuff so what you have to do is you have to go to your um, ammeter and um, inside ammeter just uh, search for this texture rate just activate that and um, apply that particular file the second one over here inside here this import file mm, which is the one this is a a and I name this is bb okay, i have to use the second one this one okay so just select one file and say open and to continue that thing just use image sequence so it's going to take all the images and um, if i just uh, play and check now so it's going to generate particle from exactly from that particular point only where we want something like this and after this particular point we don't want any particles right after uh, let's say 83 or 85 we don't want any particle system so let's say on uh, frame 85 we want to zero to set the key and on uh, this particular frame 81 we want let's say 200 just set the key okay so till this particular frame we need uh, this much you know 200 i think 200 is fine for us right now we can just check it and um, what else we want lifespan random range 1 and uh, point 0.8 let's start with that and um, nucleus what we want is uh, particle should not go down particle should go up should go up and uh, x direction in between this between <coughs> y and uh, x direction so just take one one on this particular axis so it's going to follow in between this particular angle 45 if i just play and check now so you can see so it's going to follow that 45 angle from there something like this okay so you have to use many stuff like you have to use a little bit of fire 
that bridge, many, many stuff. You have to use many, many particle systems. So this is one of the particle system that I have added. Okay. And um, if I just go closer and so you can see the result. And uh, if you want uh, to offset it a little bit more, you know, if you want to offset. So then what to do? I want to offset that particular uh, stuff. Okay. So if I just uh, go here on my mesh and if I just search for my Lambert, which is basic Lambert. And um, I want to offset this stuff. See, uh, I can offset the frame. So whatever is starting from uh, zero, I can just uh, shift that stuff. If I just say offset to 5 frame, so you can see, if I can say offset to 10 frame, so see, I don't want that much, but uh, if I just play and check now, I don't want that much, I can take just 4 or 5 frames, because it is offsetting too much now. If I just say 5 frame offset, okay, and now if I just play and check, no, it, it, sh it should feel it like you know it's really dissolving like this, right? This, this, something like this, right? Yes, we should feel it like you know. Previously, we'll not be able to see that stuff, you know, whatever uh, depth and maps we have given. So, I just wanted to see that stuff. So, that's why I've just offset it to five frame, you know. So, it, so now you can see better, like you know, if I just play and check now. So, <clears throat> you can see it's looking better. Okay. What else we can do? We can uh, use uh, basically this different field and solver. You can use turbulence and just make sure attenuation is 0 and uh, magnitude 20. You can increase the frequency to let's say 20. And um, if I just play and check now. Little more variation. And we want particle to should move further ahead. We don't want to stay there only. So I'm just going to increase a bit. 2 and 1. Let's see how it reacts. Not 1. Basically between... 3 and uh, 2. I want particle to just go a little ahead. Yes. I want to, to basically push particle a little more. Okay. Just um, private. Four and three point five <clears throat> random range. If I just play and check now, okay. So <clears throat> What else you can do to this particular stuff? You can uh, add more uh, filled and solver effects, like you want a little more uh, drastic, and you can just increase your, uh, just select the particle. If I just uh, apply a little bit of more, uh, little more vortex kind of stuff, and um, just uh, decrease the attenuation, this magnitude should be fine. I just play and check now. Just uh, to give a little more variation to this stuff, okay? <clears throat> Something like this, and uh, definitely I want to change the color also.
okay to i'm just going to change the color of the particle system so just select a particle and uh, just search for shading just see where the shading is there yes here and um, you can uh, increase or decrease the point size so let's see if i just say one you can see it's decreased the size and um, if you want you can um, gradually just um, decrease the opacity of uh, particles gradually decrease i'm just going to switch off that so i have taken edge and uh, i'm just going to take a spline in between and uh, here also i'm going to take a spline so i want a gradual fall off like this <laughs> and you can just check the input max value from here you know how you want and um, if you want you can uh, change this value also if you want little higher value let's say 1000 there's some issue over here if i just say 1000 you would not be able to type the value over here so just increase from here i think it's fine I'm just going to set the key okay so i want a little dense particle just make sure uh, when you are changing something you have to save your file system so just save scene as so if the system crashes so i can just go back and we can continue from there okay and uh, if you just play and check now so just before going i just uh, i'm just i want to check what exactly how the particle is looking yes yeah very dense yes i want particle to flow more okay so first you have to apply this and I definitely I want to change the color gradually. So you can just take edge and uh, can just uh, change the particle color. So if I just change the color and if I just check now. Okay. Yes, looking more organic, but definitely we need a little more uh, dense particles. And um, if we just uh, try this from uh, here, if we just uh, in just change this point to if you just draw this multi points so you can get this little dense stuff and um, we have to just a little play with this stuff so if you just uh, increase the radius a bit like this and um, I just increase the count as well and you can, ah, you can just check it you know what exactly you want and how color vacuum lighting if you want to add you no know. but just play and check now let's see how it looks and uh, if you just uh, change the color to black and um, if I just uh, change the viewport to report this anti-aliasing to multi-sampling and now if you just uh, check the quality just check it how, how exactly you want you know
Okay. It's, it's too heavy actually. Multi point is too heavy. So if I just go with strip and um, if you just uh, check that you know, how the strip is doing, and if you just um, if you can just um, I think first we will check you know how it's doing. Then we can change a little bit of tail size and all that. But let's see how it's doing. Wow, more dramatic. Doing very well. Yes. Okay, so but we want little variation inside our uh, our text field. So I want little more little more dramatic this stuff and the turbulence field also. You can see I'm going to reduce and I'm going to increase the magnitude to 100. I want I want very very drastic effect. Let's see how it looks and feels like you know if it is going very wild then I cannot use it you know it's going very very wild and this also is going very wild vortex I don't want that much I think 4 is fine for me now so just play with that particular value if it is going too wild then just change it if it is going fine like then it's fine yes So I don't want exactly on top, I want on um, this X side only. So for that, just change the nucleus value over here. I don't want on uh, Y axis, I, I just want side only right now. So if I just um, play and check now. Hmm, something like this. Yes, so you can just check and change the value if you want this to go up directly. So you can just change this to this one. And now if you just play and check, so it's going to go top. If you want this to go down, just uh, activate your negative value. And you can see the effect. See. Ah, oh, I think this is looking quite well. Yes. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, this is going quite well. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I want uh, this particle to collide uh, on ground. I'm going to use, uh, use plane. I'm going to use this particular surface. Let's see how it looks. If I just play and check now. So I don't know. It's going. To, if, if it is be behave too wildly, then I have to change it. But see, you no, know, it's colliding with the ground. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. This is fine for me. Yes, I like this. Okay, <clears throat> next, what else you can do? Just save this and um, n particle. If you just uh, go to n cache. Create new cache. We have uh, object and fluid cache, so we can generate the cache. But right now we don't need anything. So just uh, switch off your uh, n particle one. Just hide it. So if I just play and check now, so it's not going to generate your uh, particle system, okay? Because I want to generate an another uh, particles, okay? So for that particular purpose, I'm just going to activate my once again n particles, and uh, once again you can say emit from object, and just make sure you use you use same stuff. I want 
little dense, let's say 100. And um, same thing, same all this stuff, just say close. And um, just uh, create it. And uh, same way, I have to regenerate that stuff. This texture it for um, transparency. And uh, already I have this uh, map with me. This is file 2. This, I think, name has changed. This one, this map we require. Just drag it over here. Use middle mouse and just drag it over here. Okay. And if I just play and check now, let's see how it's working. So you're going to get the same similar particle. So from where we have started. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I want to connect that particular uh, gravity and all that stuff inside over here also. So right now it is not uh, affected by this particular vortex and then particle. For that particular purpose, what you can do is you can just go to Windows and uh, search for this relationship editor. And we are here we have dynamic relationship. So if you want to connect this particular particle, this um, particle system 2, just search for that particle system 2. So we have to connect to turbulence and vortex. So for that purpose, just simply click. Turbulence is connected. Click vortex. Vortex is connected. So inside our this um, particles, so you can see you know both the systems are connected. So now both the fields are connected. If you just play and check now, so you can see. Yes, both are affected by. Okay, next what we can do. So we are already connected that stuff. So next what we can do is over here, we can change this particular type to let's say cloud. So you can take a cloud and we can just play with the cloud. So you can uh, increase the size if you want to so just uh, increase the particle size. So let's see if I just want 1.5. So it is a little dense. Okay. And um, want to change the color also. So if you just go to this shading color, so you can change the color also. So I'm going to stick with the same color this and the same color so what i have chosen i want this to gradually change like this and um, i want little variations inside my particle so you can just uh, play with uh, this i want I'm going to use h and if i just change the graph form here so you can see you know it is gradually changing like this something like this so you have to add multiple layers of um, particles to get that particular effect you know what exactly you are looking for and um, same i'm going to use uh, opacity also gradually it should fall off something like this gradual fall off i don't want that much this is fine for me yes it has to be very subtle and smooth if i just play and check now It has to be very subtle and smooth, something like this. 
Yes. Perfect. And now if I just uh, activate my this particle also using shift plus H. I am unhiding my particle using shift plus H. Okay. And if I just save and I will just say save sin as also and change this to C. And if you just uh, play blast all this stuff. For that particular purpose, uh, just uh, hide uh, everything. Just uh, go to show and uh, we want uh, particles. And um, I don't want to see all this stuff. I just want to see my particles and all that. So just hide it. And just go to show and uh, switch off your dynamics. And uh, this surface also. Deformer, we don't have any deformer right now. You can just manually disable that height. Not possible. Okay. If you if you can just take it to an another layer and you can just off. Yes. I don't know how then it's going to behave it or not, but let's see. If we just uh, one more thing that we have to do is uh, just go to display and head sub display. Just switch off your uh, access also. All this button basically your. Um, I want to see anything. My access caps lock camera name. I want to see anything. Before taking play plus, just make sure all the things are done and um, just make sure inside your render setting you use uh, full HD. Inside here, just make sure it is full HD 1080. Resolution has to be 300 and um, inside play plus settings, QT. 100 save to file just change the path affixation so today we have uh, 23 c save and just hit the play blast button and one more thing you can do is you can uh, just animate your camera as well, you know, before going ahead. If you, if you can just uh, animate your camera a bit. So, if you just uh, set the key over here. And on 60 frame, you can just little, if you, if you want, you can just little rotate that stuff. Just to give a better idea. And just set the key. On the perspective only, just press S. And you can set the camera. And if I just uh, hit play blast button now and check, let's see how it looks like. You know? Oh, we have not hydrated our particles now. No. Let's see how it looks. No. There's some issue. If I just regularly just play and check now, let's see how it looks.
No. Camera animation, I don't like that. I want to remove that camera animation. So just select all this name from here and right click and you can see break connections. So all the animation is removed. And um, if I just once again play and check now. Okay, inside here and inside nucleus, it is going down and it suppose if you want to go down and this side as well, this is my I think this is Z axis. So if I just say Z axis also, activate that. And if I just play and check, and as well, what I want is I want particle to. I want that much of lifespan. I just want to decrease it. It's not going well. So you can just go and just change it. You know, as per your requirement. I want to do this to live forever, random range. One, one and point each. And now if I just play and check the stuff. Yes, much better. Okay, and also you can increase this pitch from here also. If you want, you can increase this pitch to ten. Ten, and uh, if I just play and check now. Let's see how it's behave. No, it is spreading too much. It is going fine, but um, we need to restrict the particles. You know, both the particles. We need to restrict that. Okay, for that particular purpose, I'm going to assign um, this brack field. Let's say 2 magnitude and um, I'm going to connect that particular particle. See, I've already connected to this uh, particle 2. We have to connect to particle 1 also. And now if I just go play and check this stuff now, let's say how it's behave. Much better, much better. Yes, much better. So you can increase the drag field, let's say 5, and um, inside your nucleus. I just change this to 1 over here also and this 0 here and um, if you can just uh, increase this uh, value, little drastic value, just before that we will just play and check you know, what exactly is happening here with our particles so we can see, you know, so we need to get better idea what exactly is happening. Yes. Much better. And now, if you just try to increase this uh, field, turbulence field, and all this, 
just try to increase the value of both the fields. So just play and check now. Much better. So basically, you have to use different different fields and all this option to get the desired result, desired output. Yes. So if I have just a little bit of close up. So you can see here what exactly is happening. Okay, so we have to use different different camera angles to get the better result and output. Okay. To save it. And um, let's say if you want um, to add uh, more uh, dramatism or dynamic effect. So what you can do is you can um, use uh, this particular map, your um, inside your uh, surface, if you just go here, inside your uh, Lambert 2 and uh, inside internances, you can use that particular map that we have used for our particles. This one. If I just click here, if I, if I just add it to incandances. So, we just play and check now. So, let's see. See, what, what is exactly is doing. You can see, no? This from where the exactly the particle is generating is changing the color as well, something like this. So, for this particular example, I think uh, I have to use an another uh, set of this stuff. So, I'm going to just uh, take a new stuff form here. I am just going to say break connection. I am going to use uh, another stuff. This one. This is I think in condenses, right? So if I just scrub a bit and I have to activate that also, you may sequence. So I can see better. Right. Now what? Just go to color balance and you can uh, just uh, decrease the exposure value and uh, I just change the color again. I want this particular color. Default color if I just change to let's say red. Okay, I want a little bit of exposure like, like this. You should feel it, you no, know, it's burning like that. So increase the exposure like that. And um, I'm going to use uh, one more set like this. First, check this. You know what exactly is happening. So it should. We have to feel it. Like you know, it's really burning. The surface is really burning. We have to feel it. That see, we have to feel it. You know, it's really burning. Something is burning now. Particle is coming out. You know, we have to change the color. You know, same color should follow. The red color and the person is really suffering and. So this so this particular step I'm going to change the color I'm going to take this particular color only this red one so should follow that particular stuff and uh, gradually you can change it to little dark value and um, this particular uh, particle also just make sure you're using the same color so I've taken that uh, this dark red and um, gradually it should follow with a um, little dark color. Yes, this also with little dark color. 
right and um, and in between you can just change to little um, oranges like that stew just to show no? it's really burning that stuff and if I just uh, play and check now, just check it you now what exactly is happening here. Mm, no, not in between yellow color is not going well. So, like that, you have to change it. It's too much of red. It's too harsh. It's soft, little bit. And this this is also too much. So just change it. Just condense it over there only. In initial part only. Not too much. You know, it's, it's, that was too much. So we have to have views like very subtle and. If you want, you can just offset this um, particular uh, surface now. If you want, you can just offset. And ha, one more thing you can do is you can uh, use uh, same map inside your um, this ambient color as well. So if you just go to file and um, Use the same map, this one, this one. Select the first one and um, you have to click on use image sequence. And uh, if I just uh, scrub on timeline, so I can see that particular map. Yes. So right now we have two map and uh, <clears throat> We have to give a little more burning effect over here also. So I'm just going to use a darker one. This also little oranges. I just increase the exposure. Something like this. You should see. You know, see, it's really burning. One more thing, Thora means just offset, just offset this particular stuff a bit. Just let's say just two frames. So you just overlap with this particular stuff. Two or uh, five frames. Five should not go very plastic. Mm. Let's see, then should burn a little more. Not this much. Three. Just increase the exposure value a bit. So it should really burn it like this, you know, it should burn it. Same, just do with your uh, incandances also. Just increase the exposure, it should burn. It should burn like this. You just should feel it now. Now we have to generate uh, basically oranges color from there. So just play and check now. See. Burning. Yes. Perfect. And now you can once again uh, change the particle color. No, as per uh, direction situation. Now we have used this oranges also. So in the initial this particular stuff, you can use this color and just check it. Yes. 
try to use the same color and just uh, just uh, this, use this also. And if you want, you can uh, just uh, increase the emitter uh, this bit to let's say one thousand. And if I just save it, and um, more and more you can do is. Um, Basically, you can uh, just uh, increase your uh, radius also to this particular particle. It's particle two. I just say one, two, one. So <clears throat> now, if I just uh, play and check, save it, and I, I just want to disconnect that. Uh, Drag fill from this particle one. For that, you have to go to relationship editor, dynamic relationship, and um, just disconnect this drag fill. Just click, simply just click. And if I just play and check now, let's see how it looks. And one more thing, I don't want ground plane as well. Okay, and um, this is not uh, going well. So radius, that's a point two. This is looking quite good. So you have to just see and check what exactly is. Uh, what exactly you are looking for and I have to activate the color active over here. Let's see how it looks color active inside particle 1 and uh, particle 2 as well if I just no, no need it and um, from this uh, nucleus value I have to switch off my use image plane. Save and just save scene as C D. And now, if I just play and check, yes, wow. So basically, you have to play with the stuff. You know all all this stuff. You know how to generate particles. You know. How to generate textures and all the thing. Now you have to club all the thing together. Now see, it's that you know, it's really drastic and dramatic. You know, I just really like that. Just really like that. Wow. Awesome. So I'll just try with play blast. You now let's see how how it generates. Let's see. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so let's see if I just play and check now. See the effect. Do you like this effect, students? 
Yes, sir. Okay. So I think you're going to try this now. Yes. Yes, sir. Filmy, uh, filmy effective. Ah. Uh -huh.